One of the best ways to always have something to wear is having your own go-to outfit formulas to refer to when you're kind of in a pickle putting an outfit together. So in today's video, I wanna share my own go-to outfit formulas for spring. And I want this video to be a source of inspiration for you to create your own go-to outfit formulas, ones that suit you and your personal style and the colors that you like to wear. When you do figure out your own outfit formulas, write them down in the notes section of your phone so that you can refer back to them on those days where you're feeling uninspired. So I will link the things that I'm wearing in the description, but to be honest, a lot of my wardrobe is old or secondhand, but if anything is available, I will leave it in the description. All right, let's get started. So for reference, I'm wearing the same jewelry today for all of the outfits. I've got a dainty gold chain necklace, some stacked rings, two gold bracelets, and then some small gold earrings. Okay, let's get started with outfit formula number one. So we have a flowy dress plus a knit sweater, plus either sandals or boots, depending on your climate. This knit is secondhand and I specifically wanted a knit that was slightly cropped so that it would crop at my waistline and not need tucking into anything. This next outfit formula is a printed blouse plus denim shorts plus espadrilles. I love the combination of shorts and a long sleeve shirt. I find the long sleeves balance out the proportions of the outfit when showing off my legs. Most of my bags and shoes these days are brown and black, which I find makes it really easy to use them with all of my outfits in my wardrobe. The next outfit formula is a classic and that's a trench coat, denim jeans and ballet flats. To add contrast and balance to the outfits, I chose a black t-shirt and black shoes. And I have cuffed my sleeves, which I think makes all the difference when styling a trench coat. I've put an elastic band around the sleeves and covered it up so that the sleeves stay up themselves. And I think this outfit is topped off perfectly with the brown bucket bag. It's a very classic French inspired look. The next outfit formula is a jumpsuit or overalls layered on top of a t-shirt plus sneakers. This jumpsuit has been probably my most worn item over spring and summer here in Australia. It completely exceeded my expectations. It's so soft and comfortable and easy to move around in and I never wanna take it off when I'm wearing it. This next outfit formula is following a spring summer trend that I love and that is boob tubes. At least that's what we call them in Australia. Is that what you guys call them too? Anyway, this formula is a boob tube plus relaxed denim plus sandals plus a necklace. I feel super sexy and confident in a boob tube. There is something about showing off that skin that makes me feel really confident. But because it is so fitted around the top part of my body, I do like to pair it with something more relaxed on the bottom. So either my wide leg trousers or my relaxed loose denim jeans. I also love adding my chunky pearl necklace because it helps me feel a little less naked. And I think it shows off the necklace in such a nice way. The next outfit formula is tailored shorts, a ribbed vest top, and a denim overshirt. Firstly, wearing an overshirt with so many things has been such a go-to styling piece for me recently. It's so nice to have a light layer on to help with warmth and protect from the sun. And it's something that's really easy to take on and off rather than a jumper that goes over your head. The next outfit formula is wide leg trousers, a ribbed vest top, and sandals. This is a really simple combination, but one that I wear a lot and I can change up the styling with different accessories. This green bag I bought recently from Depop for a wedding I went to and I added it today just for something different and to add in a pop of color. The next outfit formula is a tailored blazer, a slip dress and block heeled sandals. On reflection, I think an extra pendant necklace would have finished this outfit off perfectly. So we've got a few more outfit formulas to go, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you wanna leave your own spring outfit formulas below so we can all get some more ideas. I read all of the comments and I try to get back to as many as I can. The next outfit formula is a really easy one to reach for and that's high-waisted denim jeans, a white shirt and ballet flats. I'm really enjoying styling my oversized shirts undone every now and then for a really relaxed look. I usually have a few buttons undone up the top and at the bottom and I cuff my sleeves too. I've been looking to replace this shirt as it's about seven years old from H&M and it has definitely seen better days. I don't like the way it sits around my neck, the collar sits really funny and close up it looks quite cheap. So if anyone has any recommendations for ethically made white shirts, please do let me know in the comments below. The next outfit formula is wearing a flowy dress plus a denim jacket 
plus sandals. The colors and shapes will depend on your own personal style, of course, but I love wearing my oversized vintage Levi's jacket over dresses. Blue and yellow are two colors in my color palette for my wardrobe, and if you haven't seen my video on style habits, I will link it above because I talk more about my color palette a little bit in that video. This outfit formula is a tailored vest top plus a midi skirt plus block heeled sandals. I got two tailored vest tops off Depop last year and I still can't believe how versatile they've been for me. I love wearing them with a midi skirt, jeans or high-waisted trousers. Does it still feel like winter where you are right now? Is it still really cold? If it does, I have created this other video of transitional outfits from winter to spring. So that's linked up on the screen now and go watch that for more outfit ideas. And I'll see you over there. Ta-da, bye.